ora a questo punto andiamo a vedere un altro servizio di un mito, di un creatore dell'hip hop. Africa Bambata quando Zulu. è venuto in tournée assieme a Church of Fun. E io, per voi. Funky. Godfather hip hop, you know. Let's talk about uh, 1974, the birth of hip hop. What, what, I mean, how, how did it start, basically, in a few words? A few quick words. Cool DJ Herc, the father, came from the shores of Jamaica and came to the land of America, and he brought this new thing that he was doing over there in Jamaica like they did with the reggae and toasting the DJ style and brought it to the African Americans and gave us that funk stuff, what we call hip hop today. But myself, we had a visionary of taking it all around the world with the Universal Zulu Nation, spreading it from Italy, France, Germany, Japan, Africa, West Indies, all over with the Universal Zulu Nation and with the Grandmaster himself, Grandmaster Flash, as he pledged that funk and scratched that turntable and teared up with Grand Wizard Dead Off and spread all that hip hop funk to the universe. All right, it's gonna be pretty hard for me to translate all that, but yeah, we're gonna, believe, we're gonna have it where all the aliens we get into the hip hop and the Star Wars and everything that's funky from Mars, Venus, Jupiter. Let's talk about hip hop 1995, or 1998. What you like and what you don't like about hip hop these days? Well, I wish um, more of the um, hip hop people that's throughout the world unite more on the hip hop united front. You know, we still got too many hip hop people who are uh, against each other or split up, don't have too much unity, and they don't use the brain too much. And we got others that make money to become their god. We just need a united hip hop front so we can handle all the problems dealing with hip hop throughout the world on this planet, so called Earth. About the Zulu Nation, what is like the, the goal of the Zulu Nation in the United States? What, what you trying to get with the Zulu Nation done? Well, with the goal of the Universal Zulu Nation for the United States, and not just the United States, for the world, is first to recognize that we are of the hip-hop culture, and also to make a lot of brothers and sisters who are from many different races and nationalities, different religions, to be united and to respect each other and each other's culture, and to use this, mainly, to use your brain, because there's a lot of evil ones on this planet who's trying to take our brain and knowledge away, and want us to become Zion. So basically you're trying to tell me to use hip hop to be a better person. Use hip hop to be a better person, use it for your culture, use it to respect self and respect the sisters and the women and also um, not to just put all the other things where they try to say negative pop because hip hop has negative as well as positive but that's life itself, that's the human family itself. The positive human beings and there's negative human beings. There's good human beings and there's bad human beings. There's evil human beings and there's righteous human beings. Everybody.